Welcome to Texas Stadium for the 1982 matchup between Arkansas and SMU. We pick up the action early in the first quarter with the game still scoreless here on ESPN Classic. From the 20, Lance McElhenney and Craig James is the starting tailback, and he has the ball. Slashes it over the right side, breaks it pretty well, gets it out to the 26th. They're in the Southwest Conference, and they're going to get nailed right here. That's illegal use of hands. Lance McElhaney, the quarterback, a junior, 188-pounder, so deft at the option. Eric Dickerson is not starting, but he will be in there. Uh, this is the man who got the start today, Craig James at 215 pounds. A fullback and fundamentally a blocking back, Mark Kreitz at 217 pounds. Jackie Wilson, they split in at 195, and Gary Smith is a flanker. First down and 15 for the Mustang. And in motion is Bolden. McElhaney going down the line, attacking the corner. Arkansas hits him, but he keeps on going. Gets it to the sidelines and gets it up to the 19. The offensive front for SMU. Ricky Bolden, your tight end, is 6'5", 249. Ricky Schulte, a tackle, 250 pounds. Joe Beard, left guard, 227, a good one. Chris Jackson is the center at 6'4", 252. The right guard is Andrew Campbell, 252. And uh, Grady Burnett is the right tackle at 250 pounds. The Arkansas is a pressure defensive team. And McElhaney again going to the corner. Coming wide. They spring him out well. And they level him at the 20. And Ricky Richardson, 67. Earl Buckingham and Billy Ray Smith. The linebackers are Mark Lee, Burt Gentleman, and Milton Fields. The secondary, Walters, Burns, Lasker, and Nathan Jones. And Bolden is a big target that tied in. They break it for James. First down as he pops it up the sidelines, and he's just shoved out of bounds. He's even thrown for a touchdown for 62 yards. Michael Henney on a deep roll goes to the sideline pattern and throws it over the head of Keith Brooks. Ball is out near the 42. Second down and 10. Michael Henney going down the line, turns it back into the middle. And number 48, Burt Gentleman, the middle linebacker with Michael Haney pulling the trigger. They have really been something. 20 and 1. What with Messers, James, and Dickerson. And here's Michael Haney in trouble. And Richardson would have no part of it. He got him by the coattail. James is a very good putter. And it's out of there. And a good one. Drives James back to his 18. Gets a hole. Look out! Caught from behind and brought down at a net of 11. Not so good. Right on midfield, Arkansas. First down. Jones at quarterback. Big fullback. Clark rumbles for two. And look at here. The Blue Devils are jumping on the Tar Heels in the fourth quarter. My goodness, Chuck Howard. He, he, you better get a hold of him. He's liable to fly away. There's a pass thrown to the sidelines. And the pass gets complete to Mark Mistler. And it is first down Arkansas. The ball is right near the 37 of SMU. Tom Jones down the line, pitches out to Anderson. Great speed by Anderson, and he gets almost around the corner. He just simply could not quite outrun Wes Hopkins, and you're going to get a flag. Now they're close. First down at the SMU 18, and Jones with one remaining back. And uh, look like he might have had some early movement inside by Arkansas. Jones opposite to Clark keeps it goes way wide to Anderson shakes one man loses his footing they play on the rug here and third down and eight now for Arkansas here's Jones on a deep roll looks over the middle goes over the middle pass is caught man is down Anderson and Clark behind Jones It's Jesse Clark. And Clark pounds in over the right side, running behind court. And it's first down and goal to go, Arkansas. Looks like the ball is just inside the seven. They give the ball back to Clark, and Clark is hit at the five. And white-shirted Hawks come to the line on second down and goal to go, just outside the five. Jones keeps it. He turns it to the three. Hit the ball game they lost to Baylor there were down close three times and could poke it in Tom Jones goes outside to Gary Anderson he dives touchdown he got an awfully good block from the wide receiver out there awfully good block and it got it in there looked like Jim Schooltrop was the man and Martin Smith 
hits the point. So Martin Smith now 20 for 20 in extra points in 1982 in the lift the ball in the air. And he hits it. Oh, he hits a spiral. Oh, my gosh, I haven't seen that in a while. And it's caught way up front by Jeff Brown. And he brings it back out about the just outside the 21. And Mark fights the fullback. Number 87, Bolden in motion. McElhaney gives it off to Eric Dickerson. And they line up now. The Football Writers Association. Gain on the play of about five. So Dickerson, second down and five as McElhaney again gives it to Eric. He looks for the hole on the right side. Gets it around the corner. Spins it upfield. Keeps on driving. Big gain by Dickerson. He slams the ball down at the 48. And Arkansas has recovered the football, and he just pulled it loose, and suddenly there it was. And here's Arkansas operating out near the SMU 47, and Brad Taylor with a strong arm going deep. Anderson's got it down the sidelines. He drops the ball, but he had stepped out of bounds at the 21. He had stepped out of bounds at the 21, and Arkansas will keep it. All right, Darrell Bowles is in the backfield now for Arkansas. They give the ball off to that big fullback, Jesse Clark, and he just barrels straight ahead. Swift people flank to both sides of the field as Taylor comes down the line with a peach it, turns it up the middle, goes inside the 10. He's got a first down. And it's doing its job right now. Just inside the 10, first down and goal to go. And the ball goes to Darrell Bowles, and Bowles has cut down at the 7. 67-7 in the shot, fifth best in the world. On second down and goal, Taylor drops back, pulls it down as if it's a quarterback draw, and maybe that's what they had in mind. It's third, and goal just inside the 10. And Taylor rolls it left, gets good blocking over there. He's got time, but he's got nobody to throw to. Throws it off short, and Dameron had no place to go with it either. It will be a 27-yarder. Martin Smith, barefooted, out of Taylor's hole. The hold is good. The kick is blocked. It is blocked. Number 29 blocks it for SMU. Back and Michael Haney, the quarterback. And James has got the ball. And James has got nine yards. It's where I live. That's a big ball game for a shortened season, though. They go to Craig James again. James trying to get his first down. He runs right into big Ron Faroe. Time has run out. We've played a full quarter now in this annual between the Mustangs and the Razorbacks, and the Hogs lead it seven to nothing. Late in the first half, the Mustangs tied the score on a three-yard Eric Dickerson touchdown run. So with the score now 7-7, seven to seven, we rejoin the game at the start of the third quarter right here on ESPN Classic. December 4, that's the background to it. And the second half is underway with Dupard coming to the sidelines to accept the kick at the 3. Going the other way. And it's Gary Anderson, the running back, who finally makes the tackle. On offense in the first half, the two teams were dead even, 148 apiece. Man in motion for SMU, and the pitch goes to Craig James, starting the second half as he did the ball game. And he runs out of bounds up at the 32. It is second down and five from the 32. Gives the ball off to James again. James with button heads right at the line of scrimmage and close from the 37 for the Ponies first down. Michael Henney, a little pop pass. It is complete. They ran that play one time in the first half. It was not close in the first quarter. Bobby Leach comes wide out of the picture now. They've got him flanked. He's become a folk hero. He's made two of the biggest plays this season for SMU, but they pitch it back to Craig James. He goes the other way, and now SMU bleeding. Then second down, eight. Ball is now on the Arkansas, 49. Michael Henney gives it to James again. And James is down. Don't look at anything except the goal run. Michael Henney rolling it out. Keeps it and turns it to the 40. Goes to the 38. Uh, the team had been losing since then, 24 and 2. All right, Gary Smith is a man in motion to the top of the picture. They go to the tight side with McElhaney keeping the ball. Fumbles it. And 
SMU will keep it as the ball was knocked out of bounds. What Arkansas has done this year, their only stumble was out at Waco against Baylor, so they were one and one on the road this year. And they lost a ball game when they failed to stick at the end zone when they had three very good opportunities. SMU, we told you earlier, had had three breathtaking escapes, one against TCU, one against Baylor, and the last one against Texas Tech. On second down, 11, McElhaney drops back, throws the pass, pass good to Smith. First down at the Arkansas. Call it the 28 of Arkansas. First down. They've got it wide again for James. But they get him. Milton Fields, number 49. Second and 10. Give the ball to Dickerson. Runs into Buckingham and company. And he third down. Got eight. Michael Heaney back. He thrown Billy Ray Smith made the play. A 49-yard field goal try by Jeff Harrell, whose longest in his career is one of 46 yards. Old is good. With plenty of leg on it. And it's good. Jeff Harrell nails a 49-yard field goal. SMU goes on top for the first time today, adding to seven. Holloway is the deep man to receive it for Arkansas. And that is a high hanger, well back in the end zone, no return. See whether or not they choose to use the air more here in the second half. On the first play, it is the big fullback, Jesse Clark. He is close to a first down. It is second down and short for Arkansas. Jones gives the ball to Gary Anderson. He tries to split around the uh, right corner. And right now, it's Arkansas first down at their own 36. Inside the court. And how do you do from Mitch Willis? 10-7 SMU leading. Jones back. Going as deep as he can. And it is incomplete. Going down the sideline. Third down and nine for Arkansas. Jones straight back this time. Got heat from the backside. Throws the clock in. Complete pass. And 51. No pressure on him. And Dupard is going to have some room for SMU from the 25. Comes straight up the field of the 32 to the 38-yard punt. You have felt that momentum changing. It started in the second quarter, and it has continued. Dickerson. Straight ahead. Comes Dickerson again. Got a block from Kreitz. But it is third down. And Reggie Dupard now lines up in the fullback position as McElhaney drops back on third and five. Loops it out to Dupard. Dupard is caught by a leg by Keith Burns and held short of the first down. To punt. He's had two today, 48 and 32, and boy, he can hammer it. He runs Anderson all the way back to his 10. And there's no help for Gary Anderson. As he now Brad Taylor is in at quarterback for Arkansas, and he's back to put it up, and he's going as deep down the middle for Holloway. Double coverage, but he catches the ball. He came back to it and made a great catch at the SMU 41. The ball actually is a little bit underthrown. It's 45 yards in the air here. Now here comes Derek Holloway back. Great hand-eye coordination for the catch. And off to the first down. Clark, the fullback. Give it to Clark again. And there's not much there. Third down and three from the 34 of SMU. Taylor with an option, turns it up the middle, dives for the marker. Just depends on how much they give him. Called as number four of the first five plays. They give it to the big fullback, and Jesse Clark goes over the right side, and he gets up, clapping his hands. All goes to Gary Anderson, and Anderson trips over Jesse Clark. Second down and eight. Jones pitches out to Gary Anderson. He's around the corner and dives across the 20, trying for the first down. It's third down and just a couple of inches for the first down for the Razorbacks. Near the 19 of the city. Jones rolls it into the stack and gets his first down. First down for the Razorbacks. 
on the SMU 18. Darrell Bowles juked, looks for some daylight. Good. Second down and eight from the 16. Jones flips it out. Gary Anderson looking for a hole. Gets it to the 10. Ball is at the 10. Third down and about two for a first down. Jones hands it off inside on fourth down play. The ball is at the SMU 9. Mustangs lead 10 to 7. Bowles and Clark. It is Clark. He's got a first down. He is down around the 7. Right guard Steve Court and the right tackle number 71 Alfred Mohammed. Ball just inside the 8. Jones fakes it, keeps it, and gets hammered. On the six, second down, goal to go. Jones outside, Gary Anderson, Anderson is cut down. Lane Smith. Now they send Mistler wide to the right. You figure pass here, but I guess you can't bank on it. Yep, they're going to put it up. And Jones has some time. Goes into the corner with it, and it is incomplete, intended for Eddie White, the tight end. It'll be a 27-yard field goal now by Martin Smith. He had one blocked from the 27 earlier. Gets this one in the air. And a penalty flag thrown into the stack. The kick is good. We'll continue after this commercial message and a word from our local station. Bobby Horn will kick it. And you've got two men deep. Reggie Dupard and Craig James for SMU. Back to the one-yard line as they tried to hang it up in the air. And he did a good job with it. Craig James is hit. Well, they're expecting run. They've got a seven-eight man, seven-man front up there. And it is run. James and uh, the seven-man front pays off. Second down and nine. Ball goes to James again, and they pin him in the middle after one more yard. Third and eight from the 13. Option, McElhaney. He didn't try to put it up. And SMU needs a big one here. There's no pressure on it. It's a low kick. Anderson's got some room. Can't get it. It takes a big bounce for SMU, and Anderson's going to be pinned way back there. And Arkansas has to start back at its 23 instead of well upfield. Ball goes to Anderson, and he's up to the 25 for two yards. Tom Jones, the quarterback. He looks, he throws to Anderson. He's got Holloway in front of him. SMU covers the play very well. Third down, one for the Razorbacks. Jones keeps it. SMU man missed him in the backfield, and he gets the first down. And if Washington State upsets of UCLA winning, that could muddle up things a little bit, but uh, it won't. There's Dameron downfield, and the pass is overthrown. Kim Dameron. Jones gives the ball to Darrell Bowles, and Bowles on a delay breaks it up the middle and gets a first down for Arkansas. Jones gives it, and the play goes with Bowles again carrying, 198-pound senior. It was a tough call. Second down and five. Jones on the option, turns up field. He's got a first down as he goes to the SMU 41. First down, Arkansas. Ball is on the SMU 41. Razorback started back on their 23. And Tom Jones. Outside it goes to Gary Anderson. And a first down as Anderson just tucked the ball away, put his head down. And Anderson. No place to go. Nip. Nope, not Nick Willis. It's uh, Mustang Mania has been a hard sell until recently. Yep. Second and 12 for Arkansas. Jones gives it again uh, to the tailback or to the running back. Bowles this time. That got Dameron wide to the left. He's got Anderson in the slot. Tom Jones on third and 10 to put it up. He has some time. He goes to the corner. It is caught. Oh, what a marvelous catch by Gary Anderson at the five. Quick set. A crossing pattern by Anderson coming from left to right. Now watch this. Hand eye coordination. Sensational leaping catch. Oh, it's Over. first and goal to go, Arkansas at the SMU five. The ball goes to Jesse Clark, the fullback. He's to the two. 
Seven man front for SMU. Movement on the Arkansas offensive line. My goodness. Ball comes back to the seven on the illegal procedure. Second down and goal. Jones gives it inside to Jesse Clark, and Clark gets five. Back down to about the two. Jones keeping it. Outside Anderson to the corner. Touchdown. No flag. Touchdown. Great effort. Martin Smith's extra point is good. You have exactly six minutes to play in the football game. Arkansas 17, SMU 10. Trying to spoil SMU's bid for a perfect season. The kickoff is high and deep. Two card well back in the end zone. No return. It'll be SMU. First down. It doesn't change. Because that's only the third quarter score. Bolden goes in motion. Here comes McElhenney around the corner. Turns it upfield and gets to the 26. Second down and still about five. Arkansas leading by seven. The clock is running at 5.20 to play in the game. Again, Bolden, the tight end, goes in motion. Give that ball off to Dickinson. Hit behind the line of scrimmage. And knocked down. Smith comes to the bottom of the picture. It's third down and eight. He's looking for Leach. He goes for Leach to the sidelines, and he caught it. Bobby Leach, who has been the hero for SMU. Four and a half minutes to play in the game. Back goes McElhenney on a straight drop. He's going deep again, and it is incomplete. Penalty flag is thrown. Now watch the play again. You, the blue shirt, Jackie Wilson, coming down. Jones has should have access to the ball. That oh, is I a don't, very, very I don't, questionable I don't, call. That's a bad call. That's a bad call. Oh, and SMU now has a first down at the 17 of Arkansas. Michael Hennig gives it to Dickerson, and Dickerson going to the sidelines, gets it around the corner, and balls on the 13 of Arkansas. And it's second down at about six, and they give it to Dickerson. He goes up the middle, and he goes inside the 10. He goes down to the seven. First and goal from the seven. McElhinney gives the ball off. And Eric Dickerson is hit. That was the play that put SMU in its present situation. Second down and goal from the Arkansas eight. McElhinney keeps the ball, turns it inside and goes to the two. Billy Ray Smith, third down and goal to go from the two. McElhinney still got it. Touchdown. Jeff Harrell in, the hold is good, the kick is up, it's even. 17-17, with 2.51 to play. That's hanging heavy over their head right now. It hits a high, high kick, very high. Holloway at the one. Not much. It's a difficult call to make, but it's... Uh, just a shame that that's going to be such a big factor. Arkansas can't get any kind of movement across the offensive front that time, but that bunch of blue shirts out there, they are... They want the football. Oh, they're jacked up. Jones is going to have to throw. Gets it off under pressure, and it's incomplete. Thrown too high to Kim Dameron. Third and nine. From their own 17. Give it to Holloway. Holloway trying to run a reverse. There's all kind of people after him, but he gets it around the corner, gets it up the sidelines, and he is short of the first down. Man who has fumbled and fumbled and fumbled, trying to run back, punches back there, and Taylor just killed it. Smith lets it go. Let it go. And <laughs> Brad Taylor knocks that ball all the way back to the 12-yard line. You've got 94 seconds to play in a ball game. And they can take 25 seconds on every snap. But they don't let it run down. Lance McElhaney turns it back inside, and he gets brought down up around the 15. They still won't have a defeat. 
McElhaney drops back. He's going for it. No, nope, doesn't either. He goes it up to Eric Dickerson. Dickerson gets loose on the sideline, gets a first down, and runs the ball all the way to midfield. Danny Walters knocked him out of bounds. SMU at midfield. Now they can go for the win. McElhaney rolls it, turns it. Got to run it now. Goes to the sidelines where he can get it out of bounds at the Arkansas 41. And so they've saved the timeout now in case they have to get a kicker in the ball game. McElhaney stands and throws it for Leach. And Leach does not come up with it in the judgment of the officials. But Ball thrown first. low and outside right there. That's the first miss after six kick. Yep. Here goes Dickerson. To the 39 trying for the first down. That'll stop the clock if he's got the first down. They can't ask for a measurement running inside 20. Straight drop. Goes to the sideline. The pass is good. The pass is down right there because when Leach caught it, the knee was down. He is at the 35. Yep. <laughs> 52-yard try. It is up. It is. No good. Wide to the right. And maybe short. And one second to play in the ball game. Tom Jones. Tom Jones. I would have Taylor in there, frankly. Throw it up. That'll cost Arkansas five. Use too much time getting themselves up for the pump. Look at that. Jones fakes it to Holloway. Now he sets up to throw it, and he goes for Missler, and it is intercepted. It is picked off by Wes Hopkins, who goes out of bounds, and the ball game is over. And Southern Methodist and Arkansas fight to a 17-17 draw. And the tie ball game will send the Southern Methodist Mustangs into the Cotton Bowl. Great season for that man. They call him a rookie coach, but actually he's been in coaching for 28 years. Lou Holtz coming across to shake hands and visit with Bobby Collins. It was the kind of a ball game most people thought it might be, but I don't think anybody really expected a draw. But there were two heavyweights that hung in there and slugged it out for the final play of the ball game. And your final score, 17-17.